A public defender is an attorney employed by the community and responsible for giving legal aid without cost to any person who seeks it and is financially unable to employ private counsel. It is his duty to defend those accused of crime until the issue is decided in a court of law. The first public defender's office in the United States was opened in January 1913. Over the years, other offices were opened. And today, that handful has grown to a network, a network of lawyers cooperating to protect the rights of our clients. It's about a group of young people who fell for one of the oldest lies in the world, the one that says anything for a thrill. Officer. Police? Open up, Mr. Black. We don't want to wake the neighbor shouting through the door. Open up. What's the trouble, officer? You sure you haven't made a mistake? This is not a mistake. We made several arrests at the Seaside Club. We picked up your daughter, Ellie. Ellie at the Seaside? At the Seaside Club. Well, you're kidding. My kid knows better than to hang out with a crowd like that. She comes from a good home. Your daughter and three other girls, Mr. Black, and every one from good families. Attorney Ralph Gilbert, Judge Bennett, Mr. Alfred Whitney, banker. Jim, what is... Officer, what's the trouble? Has anything happened to my child? Your child's in a lot of trouble, Mrs. Black. <gasps> Said she was picked up. Picked up for what? Assault with a deadly weapon. <gasps> what, my kid? Are you sure you know what you're talking about? Oh, no, Jim, don't argue with him. Officer, where is she? Where is my girl? She's down at the station with the rest of the kids. You better go down there right away. Identify her and arrange for her release pending a hearing. Yes. Yes. Jim, get my coat. Hurry. Aren't you going to get dressed? Oh, Jim, don't just stand there. Hurry. Ellie's in trouble. My baby's in trouble. We'll be right down, officer. Okay, Mr. Black. Sorry to have to bring such news. Imagine how Judge Bennett will take it when they break it to him. The police made their rounds, made their heartbreaking calls in the night. At a fine home or a modest one, a policeman knocked on a door, informing a mother and a father that their child was in trouble with the law. Juvenile delinquents, petty criminals, hardened lawbreakers, that couldn't be further from the truth. For the most part, these were normal, high-spirited kids who made the mistake of falling for one of the oldest lies in the world, the one that says anything for a thrill. The public defender was assigned by the court to the case of the People versus Ellie Black. The charges, assault with a deadly weapon. The possible penalty, an indeterminate sentence to the state reformatory. The circumstances, they really began several months before when Alice Black greeted her husband, Jim, as he came home from work with her wonderful news. Hi, darling. Hi, honey. Ah, uh, Mrs. Black, you look great. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I have news for you. Well, don't tell me we inherited some dough. We could use a couple of extra bucks. <laughs> Jim, Ellie's made it. She passed her probation period at Waverly High with flying colors. Ah, That's a smart kid we got. Well, I guess one school's as good as another, as long as it makes her happy. Oh, Waverly High is the best school in town. They've got a swimming pool and the best facilities, and only the children from the finest, wealthiest families in town go there. Well, we ain't exactly one of the wealthiest families in town, Alice. Well, that's why I did everything I could to get Ellie transferred there, so she could mingle with the children of the finest homes and make valuable contacts for the future. Why, Jim, don't you realize this is the most important time of Ellie's life? I realize that, Alice. Look, if it's what you want, it's okay with me. The worst can happen is a little extra cut. Yeah. Hey, shouldn't Ellie be home by now? Yes, she is home. Sounds like she saved the car fare. Bye, kids. Thanks for the ride. See you later. Bye, bye, Ellie. Bye. bye. Hi, Ma. Hello, sweetie. How's my little girl? Riding home in style these days. They just dropped me off. 
They're on their way to the beach. Didn't they ask you to go along? No. Well, that's funny. I think if they're your friends... I, I don't belong to their club. They have a cabana at the beach for members only. Well, don't worry. If you don't belong now, you will soon. Anyone would want you in their club. I don't stand a chance. Pledge week is up tomorrow. They haven't given me a tumble. Oh, well, don't worry, darling. They'll get around to it. Who is the girl driving the car? Sue Bennett. Her father's a judge or something. Now, you see, darling, that's why I wanted you to go to Waverly High. Her father is a judge, Judge Bennett. Just about the finest family in town. Oh, I guess that's how come she's president of the Knight Riders. That's a strange name for a school club. Oh, it isn't a school club. It's off campus. They've got their own clubhouse and everything. Off campus? Well, that means they're unsupervised, doesn't it? Oh, Mommy, don't be a square. Any girl would give her right arm to get into that club. I'll never make it. Only the top girls get to belong. Well, your grades are always good. Grades don't count. It's what kind of a home you're from and how rich your father is. Oh, I see. Well, any club should feel honored to have you as a member. Mom, I want to belong. You don't know what it's like not being one of the crowd. Don't worry about that club, dear. And if there's anything you need to make you feel as good as the other children, your father and I will see that you get it. Gal, sure in a hurry to get out of her clothes. She sure is. Where's that crazy fire? I gotta practice my backstroke. Miss Saunders says I ought to be able to make the girls' swimming team. Imagine that, the girls' swimming team. Next week, home economics and how to be a happy housewife. What's so terrible about making the swimming team? Doesn't hold a candle to making the night riders, does it, sugar? Oh, don't you want to join the night riders? Kids, do you really mean it? Your excitement's showing. You coming with us? Of course. I can hardly believe it's true. What kind of a test? Oh, you know, the usual kind of initiation thing. Oh, sure. When will it be? Well, as soon as you put yourself together, why, uh, we'll go for a little ride. <gasps> what do I have to do? You'll see. You sure will. See you at the car. Okay. Hey, come on. When are you going to tell me what I got to do? Just sit tight, sister. You'll find out when the time comes. How about up there, Sue? Gotcha. Looks like a good spot. <laughs> the glove compartment, see if it's locked. I shouldn't be doing anything like that. Are you with us or against us? It won't bite you, sugar. Just see if it's open or if it's locked. It's open. Well, don't just sit there. Do something. Do what? Oh, this must be the original square from Squareland. Make the hall, the loot, see what's inside. That's stealing. Oh, look, kid, what do you think we got you out here for? This is the big test. Can we trust you or can't we? But that's taking something that doesn't belong to you. It's the only way we'll be sure you won't rat on us. Rat on you? Why should I rat on you? Who knows? Maybe you're just that kind. I told you the kid was all right. I told you she wouldn't chicken out. Baby, you're okay. As far as I count, you're one of the crowd. But what about this stuff? It doesn't belong to us. Oh, we don't want any of this junk. All we wanted was to test you to see if you had the nerve to be a member of our club.